Hello, welcome to the vlog. Um, my name's Steve Warner, Steve Warner Folk. Got a bit of a cold today, but we're just pushing on through. Today we're going to do the 2008 Bon Iver album, For Emma Forever. Um, released in 2007, self-released in 2007 by Justin Vernon, the songwriter behind uh, Bon Iver. And picked up by, I've got to get this right, Jag, Jag Jaguar in 2008, released by them. Absolutely massive, huge, huge album. So it's a fair amount of kind of mysticism and um, myth and legend around the album. So he was kind of based in North Carolina with his band, feeling very uninspired. He left his girlfriend, left the band, left everything and um, went off into the mountains to stay in a cabin that was owned by his father. He spent the winter in the cabin, chopping his own wood and hunting his own animals. I'm not sure whether he did that, but um, so the legend says. And um, one of the things that he did while he was there discovering himself, finding himself, was to write the album for Emma Forever. Um, I don't know if it's true or not. I'd love to be able to just go off for six months and write an album instead of going to work every day. Anyway, um, from the album, we're going to look at three songs. Uh, probably the most famous song, uh, probably because it was covered by Birdie in 2011, is Skinny Love. Um we're going to look at uh, that song now. Um, so, Bon Iver, 2008 album, For Emma Forever, and this song is Skinny Love. So that was Skinny Love by Bon Iver, 2008 album for Emma Forever. Um, it's interesting. I really, really love the album. I love the feel. I love the uh, the overall feel of the album. It's such an interesting album in terms of arrangements. Very acoustic, very stripped back. But lyrically, it's very confusing. Um, I just don't understand it, really. So this is the lyric of the, of the beginning. So come on, Skinny Love. Just last a year, pour a little salt, we were never here. My, 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 my. Staring at the sink of blood and crushed veneer. Yeah, well, I mean, I dug around on the internet and apparently it's about a relationship. The relationship is skinny, so the relationship has no weight. Uh, the relationship is not nourished. Uh, therefore, it's a relationship that's falling apart. What blood and crushed veneer uh, mean in that, I have no idea at all. Um, it's interesting, isn't it? I mean, as a songwriter, you write songs, uh, you perform them, and then people come up and tell you what they think they're about. <laughs> um, Martin Joseph from a previous pod said that when you write a song, it's like making a boat or a ship. And when it's finished, you put it on the water and let the wind fill its sails and off it goes. And it has a life of its own. I, I definitely, definitely think that's true. Um, uh, 
yes, yeah, specifically this song. It's a very, very interesting song lyrically. So that was Skinny Love by Bon Iver, 2008 album, uh, For Emma Forever. The next one is Restacks. This my excavation to Stacks is interesting, isn't it? RE hyphen stacks. Um, so again, a lovely tune, uh, a really, really lovely sonic landscape, a fantastic arrangement. But the, the, the lyrics are strange, really, really strange. Um, so Qumran apparently was the place where they discovered the Dead Sea Scrolls. If you know anything about your church history, um, there was a boy, I think he was a, I think they say he was a shepherd boy and he was throwing stones, looking after his goats and sheep in the desert in Palestine. And he threw a stone into a cave and he heard the sound of broken pottery. So he went into the cave and in there he found um, loads and loads of scrolls uh, that we would call the Old Testament. Or, um, and they were, if not first generation, but maybe second generation uh, of scrolls. Uh, so that's the place. So maybe it's got a religious idea. And that's why the word uh, excavation maybe is quite interesting as well. So the excavation word and that lyric as well. But who knows what the verse means. Get back to the racks. I mean, racks as in torture, maybe. I don't know. Or if we're talking musical, then a lot of effects are in racks. So maybe going back to the racks, who knows. Um, and then you carry the stacks. Um I don't know, you do a lot of lugging and stuff if you're a musician. So maybe it's to do with roadieing and stuff, I don't know. Or maybe slavery, I'm not too sure at all. It's a great song though, isn't it? Sometimes we don't need to know the meaning. The last song, the final song that we're going to look at today um, is uh, uh, Blindsided, which has the most wonderful introduction. I played it at the beginning and the end of the vlog, but um, it's just a wonderful, wonderful uh, beat and meter to it. So Blindsided.
Crouch like a crow, contrasting the snow, for the agony I'd rather know, cause blinded, I'm blindsided. Yeah, peek into, into the peering. I'm not really like this. I'm probably plightless. I'm sorry, Justin, I'm lost. You've lost me on... Crow, I think, <laughs> is a very interesting lyric. I suppose if you're in a cabin in the woods, in the winter, chopping your own wood, you probably go a bit cabin weird. And this is probably the result of it, really. But it's a great song. Fantastic uh, introduction. Lovely feel to it. Um, people have said about the album, it's, it's the winter album. And it has a kind of cosy and a melancholy to it, which I think I agree with, really. Um, so yeah, that was the uh, Bon Iver, Justin Vernon album for Emma Forever, 2008, uh, self-released in 2007 and then released by uh, Jag Jaguar in 2008. And this was a production for, let's get this right, Cambridge 105 for Les Ray and his show Strummers and Dreamers and also for Blues and Roots Radio. So I hope you enjoy this episode and I hope you enjoy the music. Uh, please um, dive back and listen to Bon Iver. I think they're on their fourth album now. Um, but the Four Emma Forever is the first album. The second album is called Bon Iver. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Thanks very much for listening. <laughs> 